We are remembering a boy who has saved countless lives through his own battle with a rare disease. Today would have been David Vedder's 50th birthday. Most know him as the boy who lived in a bubble, diagnosed with a rare immunodeficiency disorder, which at the time was fatal for babies. David lived in a specially constructed sterile plastic bubble from birth until he died at age 12. Janelle Blutus spoke with his mother about her son's short but very important life. On September 21st, 1971, David Philip Vetter was born. He was placed in a bubble that was alongside me. Only seconds into his life, David was taken from his mother's womb straight to a plastic bubble where he stayed the next 12 years of his short but significant life. He had absolutely no defenses against the sea of germs. We all wander through on a daily basis. Born with severe combined immunodeficiency or SCID, David's first words, his first steps, all taken inside that NASA constructed bubble as he captured the world outside. And he had chores. And I said, David, you know, it's time to go to bed, so clean your bubble. He said, Well, I don't have to clean my bubble. And I said, Why not? And he said, Because I'm a star. Today, that star would have turned 50 years old. His mom, Carol Ann, says it's a special day. I often fantasize of what kind of a person he would be now. David's short life was and still is heavily studied and has altered medicine in so many ways. His impact continues to this day. Movies were made about David in elementary school. Even medical clinics have been named after him. And Dr. Carla Davis with Texas Children's Hospital says every state has since added SCID to their newborn screening panel. He, I believe, was the most important patient to teach us about the immune system, and he has affected millions of lives. A little boy that even 50 years later is giving other kids a chance at life that he didn't have. Children now that are born with SCID or another primary immune disorder have a better quality of life as well as life itself because of what was learned from David's gallant life and death. In Houston, Janelle Blue to KHOU 11 News. His mom put it so well. I'm not a Texas native, but I distinctly remember that story because it was international news, oh, the boy in the bubble. Yes, and I remember it quite well myself. Bittersweet day for yeah, her. Yeah, yeah.